particular story. Let's move on. The Amcham Business Summit is in its second and final day today. The U.S. East Africa Trade and Investment Forum is focused on partnering for prosperity this time around. Among other ways, this is through an increase in investment in Kenya from the U.S. private sector. Agricultural investments are also a key focus area. And KTN's Malika Kazia now joins us now from the UN complex in Gigiri, where the summit is ongoing with more details. Malika Kazia, very good afternoon to you. If you can hear me, just bring us up to speed with what this means for the East African community and Kenya specifically in terms of being open for business. Malika Kazia, I hope you can hear me this time round. A very good afternoon to you. You're coming to us live from the Amcham Summit. What key pointers do we have as we look into Kenya opening its borders to do more business with the United States of America, not just Kenya and East Africa as well? All right, thank you so much. Yes, I'm joining you from the Amcham Forum right here happening at the Gigiri uh, UN Complex. And joining me is actually the CEO of Centre, that is James Moria. I want to get a bit of an insight from him on what he thinks that this particular summit is going to achieve for Kenya and, of course, its businesses as well. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Can you give me a little bit of, um, you know, your insight into what you've seen this forum able to achieve uh, for the Kenyan business space, you think, in the days to come? Yeah. I think this forum has been very useful in terms of us as a country being explaining to explain to investors what opportunities we have uh, available. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I think it's been very useful in us going into the details of them trying to understanding what opportunities we have available mm -hmm. and us understanding what bottlenecks we need to overcome mm -hmm. in order so in order for us to bridge the gap between their investment capital and them putting their capital to work in this country. Absolutely. Yeah. And when it comes to investments coming in from the United States for yeah. um, companies that are, let's say, SMEs, for instance, mm. um, what are some of the greatest challenges that we can overcome in that space? I think for investments that are targeted towards SMEs, I think one of the big challenges is how do you channel those investments? Because typically these investors tend to have large ticket sizes and the SMEs require smaller ticket sizes. So how do you channel it? I think there are very useful ways they can channel them through banks and part of what is happening even with the removal of the interest rate cap, I think will make the intermediation a lot easier and easier for large investors to be able to deploy small amounts of capital directly into, into SMEs. Okay, and in terms of policy, um, your thoughts finally on what sorts of um, you know, changes we might need to make yeah. with regards to those? Yeah, so we had a very interesting discussion in the panel we've just come from, which mm -hmm. is an infrastructure panel, mm -hmm. and we're addressing precisely that issue of policy and what is the challenge. And I think uh, there was very good contribution also from the government side in terms of what they are doing in having policy clarity in on how investors can on the process on the ppp process for example yes. making it clearer mm. and shorter mm. and uh, the ps for housing uh, ps charles singer uh, you know i think his model and what he has done with his ministry is mm -hmm. wonderful where mm. investors can from beginning to end you're doing it in a matter of days not a matter of, of years because uh, capital is fickle yeah. as, we, as we discussed and capital will go where it has the easiest point of, of entry. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think that in a nutshell, we just need to make it easier for capital to come and be deployed in, in, in Kenya. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for speaking Brilliant. to us. Thank you. All right. Well, as you just heard, that was, of course, the CEO of Cent, um, Centum, and that is James Moria, and he's been talking about the policies that have also been discussed with regards to making um, investments coming into Kenya have a smoother transition, and for us to be able to ensure that all the investment that is coming in is channeled to the right places, whether that is with regards to SMEs or even large corporations and beyond. Um, but for now, I'll, I'll hand you back, um, of course, to the studio, and we will come back to you with even more details from the the Amcham Summit. All right, many thanks, Malika Kazia, uh, coming to us live from the Amcham Business Summit, which is on its final day today, obviously an investment and trade forum uh, partnering between the companies in East Africa and the United States.